Basketball Explosion in South Alabama at Appalachian State University, 69-51 South Alabama's road woes returned at the worst possible time. The Jaguars lost 69-51 at Appalachian State on Saturday, scoring a season low in points and narrowly avoiding their first 20-point Sun Belt Conference loss in more than two years. The defeat drops South Alabama into fifth place in the conference standings, with two regular season games remaining. South Alabama must now sweep Texas State and UT Arlington next week and hope either Georgia State loses at least once or one of Troy and Appalachian State loses twice to secure a top four seed in the Sun Belt Tournament. The top four finishers receive an all-important first-round bye for the tournament, which beings March 3rd in Pensacola, FLA. On Saturday, South Alabama trailed 30-19 at halftime after surrendering a 9-0 Epp State run heading into the break. The Mountaineers poured it on after halftime, building their lead to as many as 22 behind hot outside shooting from Adrian Delph, Justin Forrest, and Michael Almonese. The three Mountaineer guards combined for 45 points, including Delph's game-high 20. Delph also hit six three-pointers, while Almonese made four and Forrest connected on three. South Alabama shot just 36.8% from the field, just 23.1%. Forward Marshall Keering led the Jaguars with 14 points, but guard J.J. Chandler was the only other USA player in double figures with 11. K.O. Goncalves, whose last second three-pointer beat Coastal Carolina 71-68 on Thursday, was held scoreless and attempted just two shots in 21 minutes. Top scorers Chandler and Manning, both of whom came in averaging better than 16 points per game this season, combined to shoot just 7-4, 26 from the floor via App State, with Manning managing just eight points. Appalachian State, which snapped a two-game home losing streak, is back in second place in the Sun Belt standing. The Mountaineers lead by a game over Troy, which lost 73-63 at Coastal on Saturday to fall to 9-5 in conference play. App State also swept South Alabama for the first time since joining the Sun Belt Conference in 2015. The Mountaineers won 72-64 in Mobile on January 6, a game in which the Jaguars had just six healthy scholarship players due to COVID. South Alabama had no such excuses on Saturday fielding its full lineup but still suffering its worst Sun Belt loss since a 69-49 defeat at Ulm in 2020. The Jaguars' only previous double-digit loss this season came in a non-conference game at Tarleton on December 17, a 65-52 defeat. Tip-off Wednesday for South Alabama Texas State is set for 7 p.m. The Jaguars finished the regular season at home Friday via UT Arlington, also a 7 p.m. start.